Okay, we are going to talk about corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then each pair of corresponding angles is congruent. So the first thing to do is identify what your transversal is. And in this case, here is your transversal cutting through the two parallel lines. What we mean by corresponding angles are they're sitting in corresponding spots. So for example, if you look at the angles marked X, they are both above the line on the left side of the transversal. So that is why those are corresponding angles. For example, if you look at the ones that are marked Y, those are both on the right side of the transversal. Again, identify your transversal. They are both on the right side above the parallel lines. And the ones marked Z, those are corresponding. Identify your transversal. Those are corresponding because those are both below the parallel lines on the left side of the transversal. And again, on the last one where you, the angles are marked W, corresponding positions. So those are both underneath the parallel lines on the right side of the transversal. So that is what is meant by corresponding angles. So now let's go ahead and take a look at an example. Here we have that line M is parallel to line N. We know the measure of angle 1 is 115 degrees and the measure of angle 2 is 65 degrees. So find the measure of angle 5 and the measure of angle 6. Well again, the first thing it's easiest to do is identify where is your transversal since our corresponding angles are always uh, in position regards to the transversal and the parallel lines. So there's our transversal. If we looked at angle 1, it is sitting above the parallel line to the left of the transversal. So the other number that's above the other parallel line to the left of the transversal is angle 5. That means angle 1 and angle 5 would be congruent. So if the measure of angle 1 is 115 degrees, the measure of angle 5 is equal to 115 degrees. Okay, similarly, we can go ahead and take a look at the measure of angle 2 and find what angle corresponds to that. So the measure of angle 2 compared to your transversal, it is on the right side of the transversal above the parallel line. So we are looking for the other angle that's on the right side of the transversal. So our choices are 4, 6, and 8. Those are on the right side of the red line. But the only other one that is above the other parallel line is angle 6. So angle 2 and angle 6 must have the same measures. So if the measure of angle 2 is 65 degrees, the measure of angle 6 also has to be 65 degrees. And that is how you find measures of corresponding angles.